Hi, everyone, and welcome to Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, where we speak to some of the most innovative thinkers in the digital space. And joining us today is Tyler Mose with E3M. Tyler, thanks so much for joining us today. Yeah, thank you for having me. So share a little bit about what E3M is and what E3M means. Yeah, so E3M is a video production and video content marketing agency. We've been in business for 13 years now. We have offices in both Chicago and Indianapolis and Lafayette, Indiana. Uh, we do all corporate video content. So we just wrapped up a really big illustrated project with Facebook as far as that was to help champion things such as uh, online disagreement, kind of hitting upon like why that's great, why that's okay to have to... Uh, we've done a variety of pitch videos for uh, commercial real estate where they sell three, four hundred million dollar buildings, but all corporate content for sales, marketing, advertising and branding. Is some of this corporate content just B2B? It only is seen within specific industry or is this stuff that gets out there in the World Wide Web and everybody gets a chance to see it and engage with it? Yeah, so the project with with it, it's so funny. Somebody asked me that about uh, uh, they were like, oh, how many views have you tracked as far as? with uh with all the content you've produced over the last 13 years and I, I said to them i was like well probably not as much as with what we just did because we did 15 videos for uh facebook they pushed out to their entire well metaverse now and uh <laughs> so we we were joking we were like did we just crank up our view count to like 45 to 50 billion because if we did we gotta start charging people more you know so uh, um but uh, but yeah, it's across the board. It's all B2B stuff, stuff that lives on websites used in paid campaigns on YouTube, pre-roll campaigns, Instagram campaigns, Facebook. We've done a lot of stuff on Spotify, too. So uh, really just all over the place, to be totally honest with you. And so tell me a little bit about what you see coming up in the digital space that might impact video production and exposure. You know, everybody, some folks are focused on privacy. Some folks are, you know, focused on AI. What in the digital realm are you in terms of video production? Are you being on, on the watch for? I'm really anxious to see what this, the, the, the Oculus piece as far as with Facebook does as far as within the, the video space, because um i mean they've been I, i've heard vr has been in the in the news since like i remember like 2012 it started creeping up as far as from a b2b perspective and not a lot's happened because nobody's figured out how to commercialize it i mean i remember like 2014 2015 i think Samsung had Lil Wayne doing all those uh, TV ads for them of his his Samsung headset, mm -hmm. and I mean let's let's be honest, like what are you gonna do? Like wear your your headset as a belt buckle and like pull it off to throw on whenever you want to experience something. And um, I think the Oculus has really changed the game, though. Um, so I'm anxious to see what what they do with Oculus, what continues with that. But I mean, it's a space that, you know, every four years, the technology gets twice as fast, twice as small and uh, and four times as expensive. So um, I think it's just going to continue to get the, the technology is going to get more compact and, and make it easier for a lot of novices to get into the space, to be totally honest. Oh, you just segued right into my next question. So you and I are at a cool networking cocktail party in uh, in Chicago over there where you are right now at the moment. I find out what you do. I corner you. I'm that girl. I corner you and I say, I've got a business. You do video. What's the most important tip I need to know about putting out videos to promote my company? And you tell me what? Start. Literally. <laughs> just start doing something. I mean, you know, Charlene, I know you've been in the business for a long time. It's like, I mean, think about yourself when you first got into the actual production and uh, communications world, like compared to now, like, I mean, you're a polished professional. So it's one of those things that uh, as a as a brand, if you're an entrepreneur as a brand and you're trying to create the perfect product or the perfect go to market strategy, like it doesn't exist. Andre Agassi said in his book, Open, the closest thing to perfection in this world is mathematics and we humans are not equations. So it's a lot of testing, a lot of uh, trying things, a lot of, you know, putting a face with the brand, putting a face with the product, because 
you got to start selling it because if you don't start selling the product or service or platform or whatever you've got, um, you've got a hobby. You don't have a business. I would tell people new in the business, I would always say, you got to be bad first before you can get better. So be bad, be yep. bad, be bad, be bad. And guess what? One day you'll go, hey, I'm getting better at this. But you're absolutely right. You, you've got to just start and get going in consistency. Uh, I preach to myself, consistency is key. Absolutely. And I mean, I always, my, so I have uncles. So I have two uncles that went to school with um, Mike Tirico, the sportscaster. And they uh, they went to grad school with him at Syracuse at, at, at the Newlinghouse School of Communications. And they said that he used to go to sports events and he'd hold a pen in his hand and act like he was broadcasting and calling the games right there just to practice it. So if that guy started there and got to hear 30, 40 years later, I mean, obviously, like, it takes a lot of practice to get to that level. So um, you got to start. You got to start somewhere. You should be embarrassed of the first version <laughs> of yourself, you know, 10, 15 years from now. And it's just part <laughs> of it. Like, you, you, you fail your way to success. Oh, I love Oh, Tyler, you and I could talk. Let me tell you, I am that girl that would corner you at a networking event and talk your off. I, I have my first, one of my very first standups. I had some kid walking behind me like this, like doing that. I had no idea. I didn't notice it. I didn't see it. It was on my first one of my first resume reels. And I think I saw it a hundred times before I noticed it. So you're right. You should be a little embarrassed about what you did, but the thing is that you did it. You did it. You got it done. Yeah. And now you are where you are. Well, Tyler, I, I, my, my our producer is wrapping me. I know we got to go. We could talk all day, but thanks so much for joining us today on Digital Champions. You're awesome. For sure. My pleasure. Hey, you have a great day. Thank you for having me. Thank you. Our pleasure. And if you'd like to learn more about what they're doing over there at E3M and maybe LinkedIn with Tyler, he seems like a fascinating guy. Check him out at dailyadbrief.com. That's going to do it for us today on Digital Champions. I'm your host, Charlene Shirk, and we look forward to learning something new with you next time. Simplify presents addressable CTV, combining the power of TV with the targeting and attribution of digital. Simplify's addressable CTV delivers massive reach with the ability to scale without sacrificing precision. TV buyers can generate incremental reach with household level targeting, frequency controls, reporting, and insights. To learn more about Simplify's addressable CTV and what it can do for your clients, visit simply.fi.